Awesome. That's amazing, man. Straighten your boat out. Wow, Jamie, brother. That works. awesome. Now we're just going to make it stay. If you look over there, you see that big blue boxy framed, it's a crane. It's called the travel lift. That sucker is gonna bring all 15 tons of this boat up and out of the water. It's gonna drop it on top of four pylons right in the middle of this boat. Two in the front, two in the rear. It's just gonna apply pressure to the middle of the boat so the hulls can drop down and help realign our broken little baby here. Once everything's straight, or we'll put stands in to support the hulls and then we can start cutting out the bulkheads and replacing them. It sounds so easy, and it was so easy in my head. I was like, no, we'll just replace the bulkheads. I can do that. I've done carpentry before, but it's not the same at all. It's not the same. I got them lined up. If we have to move it just a little bit, it's gonna be off again. So it's better to have the boat above. Level it one time with the stance and then drop it on there. I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie. Those pylons are wobbly and they're not straight up and down. They're like kind of cockeyed a little bit. What does that mean? Maybe it's okay. The wind shouldn't move it. But then again, it is a sailboat. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see tomorrow. It's gonna be on film. So if it falls, you're gonna see it. And I'm gonna cry. Someone's gonna have to jump in to make sure the straps are in the right places. Thank you, Jamie, for volunteering. Fun fact, Jamie once shot a dozen lionfish right under this dock. We are up crazy. This side still looks exactly the same right now. How's that look? What was that? No, it's the same. Yeah, same exact thing. How are you feeling? I'm terrified. Why is it terrifying? The bulk is already broken. But if we drop it, I don't even know what happens. <laughs> So that's the easy part. Now you have to make sure the pylons are positioned perfectly under the broken bulkheads so when the hulls are lowered, they can take all the weight. Parlay's next door, so we just pop underneath and copy Colin's placements. Now, if you can't find Parlay, just look around your boat yard for another Lagoon 450 on pylons and copy theirs. It shouldn't be too hard to find since 10% of these boats have the same exact issue and that number is actually growing daily. We've got two here in Linton Bay at the moment and a third coming soon. So the toughest part is actually making sure the pylons are exactly the same height. The bridge deck needs to be perfectly level or you're rebuilding this boat lopsided. The problem is that most bubble levels cap out at 4 feet and the pylons are 24 feet apart. Once again, do what the smart people do. Copy parlay, super long tubing, filled with water and a dash of low sodium soy sauce on each end so you can see the water levels. Get on, get on. And boom, all four pylons will be within a few millimeters of each other. Now don't get too excited and drop the boat down yet. You still have to loosen the shrouds so they're not holding the hulls up. Backing off the shrouds. Hopefully the hulls will just... So when the hulls pivot down, the keels actually come together. You want to be at 537 centimeters from keel to keel. After the first drop, we were only 4 centimeters off, down from 10. Now go and loosen those shrouds some more. They're going to need to be a lot looser than you think. Now drop that baby all the way down. So we've got the entire boat 
sitting on the pylons and then they're chalking up the holes right now. The deck flexes down. I'd say probably about half a centimeter. That's amazing, man. Awesome. That's amazing, man. Trying your boat now. Wow, Jamie, brother. That works. Fucking awesome. Now we're just gonna make it stay. <laughs> These interior walls came perfectly plumb from the factory, so it's a really good place to check alignment. Our starboard side was still five mils out, but it straightened out after just a few days of the boat stretching. <laughs> The bulkheads improved quite a bit, but they were still far from perfect. Not a big deal since they're going to be completely rebuilt anyways. What's important is that we got the hulls almost perfect. We'll leave the rigging kind of slack. Okay. And then we'll try to drop this side down a little bit more. Okay. And just like that, our baby was straight again. It was such an amazing feeling. As I walked through the boat, I could feel the solidness was back. And like Jamie said, now we just gotta make it stay. Oh, and I'll be doing some serious demolition in the next video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see me tear apart these cabins and expose every flaw in this boat.